Okay, let's look at one example here. We have a face diagram here of the copper nickel system. Okay, so the question is a copper nickel alloy of composition 70% 70% uh, of nickel. So 70% is here. Sorry, 70% is here. And 30% of copper, of course, if it's 70% of nickel, it's automatically 30% of copper is slowly heated from a temperature of 1300. So the temperature is 1300 around here. So this is the temperature and this is the composition. So this is the starting point. Okay, so this alloy is slowly heated from this temperature okay so if you can see so if you if you look at this starting point here it is 100% solid okay 100% solid nickel is at 100% solid this point so the question is at what temperature does the first liquid phase form at what temperature the first liquid phase form you know that if if you want to know uh, the liquid phase, so it has to cross this liquidus line. The liquidus line is the boundary line which separates uh, from the solid and the liquid. And all right, so to to answer this question is that um, you just drag this point here, drag until it touches the solidus line and and when it started to enter this uh, binary phase which is composed of both liquid and solid once it reaches this solidus line so this meaning that when it comes to this point uh, there will be some presence of liquid already in the system. So the temperature when the first liquid phase form is at this temperature. At this temperature. Around here. And it is 1345 degree Celsius. 1345 degree Celsius. All right, this point here. All right, next question. What is the composition of this liquid phase? So the composition of this liquid phase, you cannot say it is 70% because this is should be the composition of the solid. But for the liquid, you need to look at the intersection at the liquidus line. This is the liquidus line. So the interception at this uh, temperature is when um, nickel is at 50, 59 weight percent. Okay, so you just read down here. Sorry, oh, I'm so bad at drawing lines here. So, so, so this should be 59 weight percent of nickel. Next question. At what temperature does complete melting of the alloy occur? So what does it mean by complete melting? Meaning it's 100% liquid. No more solid. Complete melting. So when it says complete melting, um, meaning... Okay, so this is where the first liquid forms. You need to heat it up again to heat it up even at higher temperature. You need to heat up more at higher temperature until it reaches until this line here reaches the liquidus line. So this is when complete melting of the alloy occur because this is the boundary which separates the liquid and the solid phase. So when it reaches here, meaning the alloy has completely melted. So the temperature is around, you read from here, this one is around 1380. 1380. 
0.80 degrees Celsius. Alright, so next one is what is the composition of the last solid, last solid remaining prior to complete melting. So this is when the complete melting occurs. So the last solid remaining is you have to read at the liquidus, uh, sorry, the solidus line at this point here in which the last solid shall be around 79 weight percent of nickel weight percent of nickel okay so it's quite confusing but if you understand the concept of the liquidus line and the solidus line you should be able to really figure out what does it mean by completely melting here uh, sorry completely melting and this is when the first solid appears meaning it started to enter the liquid line and here it started to go into 100% liquid all right this is 100% liquid no more solid this is 100% solid no more liquid All right, let's look at this one example here. So this is another example of the copper nickel alloy. So the question asks us to find the what are the phase present and what are their composition for an alloy which composed of 8.2 mole of nickel and 4.3 mole of copper at 1250 degrees Celsius. So 1250 degrees Celsius is probably around here. But give the question gives the amount of nickel and copper in mole. Alright. So this one, the diagram actually requires us to know the weight percent of nickel. So what you have to do is you need to convert this um, 8.2 mole and 4.3 mole of nickel and copper into grams by using this calculation so this is nothing new to you so this is the um, the weight of nickel equals to the number of mole times the atomic weight so 8.2 mole times 58.69 gram per mole so you will get 481 0.3 grams of nickel here nickel and for the copper we use the same formula so we'll get this is the atomic formula sorry the atomic weight so we'll get 273.3 grams of copper now that you have this nickel and copper in grams you can calculate the weight percent using the formula that you have learned in previous chapter so the composition of nickel in weight percent is just simply the weight of nickel which is this one divided by the total weight of both nickel and copper so this is is the weight of nickel and this is total weight all right total copper plus nickel 4481.3 plus 273.3 times 100 so you'll get 63.8 weight percent of nickel and you can either use calculation to calculate the composition of copper or you can just simply 100 minus 63.8 so you will get 36.2 weight percent of copper so you need to identify the location of 63.8 weight percent of nickel so 63.8 so this is 70 63.8 supposed to be around here and this is the temperature so what is the point ha huh, it's this point let me put x here so now that you have identified the point at the phase diagram which represents 8.2 mole of nickel and 4.3 mole of copper so you should be able to answer the question so the phase present at this point is just simply solid this is definitely solid no liquid and definitely not in the binary phase 
Okay, so what is the composition? The composition of this point is definitely this uh, reading here, which is 63.8 weight percent of nickel. 